The sights, the sounds, the school spirit, the football. Get ready for Friday Frenzy with the WATE 6 and your side sports team. Welcome into Friday Frenzy. I'm Marshall Hughes alongside Mark Whiteman. Jordan Kramer going to join us in just a moment. Week two here and ready for action. Mark. And what an unbelievable game. We got to get started. Really the game of the night here. Central and Fulton Marshall. And you got bragging rights to Broadway on the line tonight. Fulton hosting Central in that battle of Broadway. It's all Falcons in the first half. Second half though. Tommy Sweat back to punt. Bobcat, Bobcats botched the fielding. Diarius Farmer comes up with it, setting the Falcons up on the 26. They settle for a field goal. That comes back to haunt them. 12-0 game. Sweat looking fire. Picked off by Deontay White. Bobcats capitalize on the air. Dakota Favre hits Ellie Sharp for the touchdown. What a game here. Central marches back a 13-12 win. Jordan Kramer there. Take it all in. Let's cheer for doing something that has been done since not it feels like 98 at least for Central High School it does first time since that 98 season that the Bobcats start the year 2 and 0 and of course tonight's 13 12 victory didn't come without its fair share of adversity the Bobcats down 9 nothing by the end of the first half Bryson Rossers told his team at half guys we're too divided right now we have to play as one team and once they did that they basically flipped the switch we talk about playing 48 minutes of war and obviously we didn't play the first 24 like we wanted to uh, for several different reasons, but you know, it's the battle of Broadway. Anything can happen. So we just told our guys just keep fighting, um, attempt to make the plays and opportunity when they come, and they took advantage of it. We're fortunate to come out here with one point win. What this means for Fulton, first time since 2011 that they start the year 0 and 2 in that season. They went 0 and 3 to start the year and made it to the quarterfinals. We'll send it back to you. All right, we'll just soak that one in. Uh, what a win for Central tonight to the state champs. They're 2 and 0. I tell you what, Fulton really giving a, a run for their money tonight. Nobody expecting. Uh, the Falcons have put much of a fight up against yeah. the number one team in Class 5A. But Central holding on. They're going to host Sevier County next week, Mark. Unbelievable night there for the Bobcats. Still undefeated, the Maryville Rebels. No surprise, but they were rolling tonight. Rebels turned the ball over on four straight possessions in the first half against Bearden. No matter. It's still 28-7 in the final seconds of the half. Rebels close enough. Why not go for it? Kate Chambers ducking and chucking. Check this out. Ashton Maples. Tall like tree. Bet he's never heard that one before. The six foot four receiver goes up and gets it in the end zone. Maryville gets that bomb right before the end of the half. They roll over Bearden 47 to 14. Alco has won 27 straight. Austin East in the way of 28. And you got to check this out. Tornadoes got themselves a turnover throw. And Marshall, you going to take a sit in that? Yeah. There we Gary go. Gary Rankin, King, man. King of chaos. Ahmad he's Sankey. On the he's on the throne. Ahmad mm -hmm. Sankey might need a breather on the throne because he's getting shifty. Four change of direction right there. He gets right down onto the goal line. You got to reward him with six at that point. Alcoa up 14 zip after Sankey gets in the end zone and he is feeling himself because he's going to take this right up the middle. Oh, out oh. here hurtling. Can't do that though. That's a penalty. He fumbles anyways. AE can't capitalize, but like a text from Brady Hogue, Alcoa scoring in all caps. Tristan Blankenship, Tornadoes shut out the Roadrunners. 42 zip in their home opener. Rankin just moving his chair from the dining room of his house. The Friday Frenzy Team of the Week. Pal Superfan Dustin there ready for kickoff. Anderson County still in the thunder early. Stone Hatmaker, he's making hats. The dime to Austin Elliott on the Mavericks' first offensive play of the game. Later in the drive, the Mavericks punching it in. One of two scores for the big running back. 34 there. A uh, first half, Anderson County had the lead. Powell scored 36, though, in the wow. second half. They rally back to win it tonight. Our Friday Frenzy Team of the Week showing out 48 to 36. West at Farragut. Someone will see their first L in the record book tonight. Seven and six. Uh, West at the half, third quarter. Farragut's Matt White. Taking the handoff up the middle, untouched into the end zone. Farragut up 13 to 7, but here come the Rebels. Baker Dance dropping back deep down the sidelines. Pretty ball there. Zach Ramsey, touchdown. Rebels. West fans getting into it. We go two minutes left in the game. West going to turn to put this game to bed. Isaiah Mattress. Go to bed, Mattress. See what you did there. 91 yards. Put him to sleep. Outruns the Admirals. Touchdown. West wins 24 13. Stacks hidden under the mattress. Elijah Young and the Cherokees hosting Grace Christian. Mason Brang fakes to Young right there and goes across the middle to Santana Curtis. A name like Santana, you know he's got to be good. Second touchdown for Curtis. 
7-0 Cherokee, same score. Here we go. Bring throws the screen to Nate Adebayo, who's spinning and winning on into the end zone. Really isn't a South Doyle highlight without Elijah Young, though. You know what the Mizzou commits got going on. He takes the handoff up the middle, hops through three Rams. That'd be dangerous if you're hopping through Rams in real life. Big win for South Doyle tonight, 61 to seven. Heritage at Sevier County. Both teams looking for win numero uno on the year. Smokey Bears up 40 to 12 at the half, so they're feeling pretty good about themselves, and they pick up right where they left off. Quarterback Colin Shannon finds Tyler Wilson in the corner of the end zone for the touchdown. Sevier County up 47 to 12. Smokey Bear defense forcing a heritage punt. Braden Hurst fields it, makes a couple cuts, and he is not looking back. Sevier County rolls on 61 to 24. Morristown West Trojans riding high after last week's comeback in the city championship, hosting William Blunt in week two. Four, first quarter, Trey Clements, Seth Cooper, Governors, first down, get it done. A few plays later, it's that man again, Clements, finishing the drive to put William Blunt on the board. Trojans not backing down tonight. Second quarter, Dylan Cribley, the handoff to Neelan Gordon. Muscling his way into the score for Morristown. In the end, though, Governors put on more steam, 36 to 21. Jefferson County home against Mo East. It's the Hurricanes up seven to six in the third when Tanner Adkins gonna hook up with Seth Parrott, Mo East, Cole Henson. We'll chill for a second, hang out with the cheerleaders, and then he's gonna find Schaefer Harville. Plucks it Ooh. down low. Scoots on in. Excuse me, I got reservations for six. Later, he wouldn't. Uh, Atkins runs the ball in. Another pad score. Jeff Coe, 2 and 0 tonight. 27 to 21. Friday frenzy. Yeah, just heating up tonight. Coming up later in the show, we're going to unveil our more highlights, Mark. That's what I like to say. That's all we're doing. We got highlights. We're ready to go after the break. The Hall's Red Devils, they had eyes on starting the season 2 0. Plus, Gibbs and Seymour combining for 64 points. Who came out on top? Coming up, but first, it's Rocky Top in Pals.